What's up everyone, Ryan here, and today I'm continuing my journey in Starfield, and what an incredible journey this has been. 12 hours into the game at this point, and I have loved every minute of it. So right now, we are picking up right where we left off, working on the UC faction mission, friends like these. So we just got the Freestar archival code, now we just need to get the Varun code. Uh, so that is what we're going to right now. But thank you all for all the support on this series. You all are legends. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more. And I have a full playlist for you all on the channel page or linked in the description as well. Here we go. So wait, can we get in this way? Yes, we can apparently. I thought they said it would be locked. We got a key, I guess. I don't remember that. Yeah, this does not look like anything good happened here. This isn't what I expected at all. It appears the flora they were using as decor has overgrown the entire embassy. Yeah, this is not good. I wish I went and wasted that. I'm terrible at these. Oh, I think I got it. Activate turrets. Why would we do that? <laughs> Update friend foe. Recalibrate friend fro friend and foe settings. Okay, so now they're protecting me. Remove combat inhibitors. Activate turrets. I don't know if that's a bad idea or a good idea what we just did there. Now this is I've never seen stupid. a tree like this before in my entire life. It'd actually be more fascinating if its branches weren't blocking our way. Stock up on junk. Okay. 
kidding. <laughs> this is pretty spooky, but it's pretty awesome. That's a new weapon. Oh, that's, so that's a electromagnetic rifle. So non-lethal. We probably should actually put one of those on there just in case. Because that last mission... Oh, if you all missed that last mission, I highly recommend you go back and watch that last episode. That was insane. So let's put this... We never use the melee. So for now, what do we never use? We don't have ammo for the incendiary drum beat, so let's put it there. It seems to hit hit hard this gun, so no ammo. Turrets were helping us there. Dang. Yep. Did I mess it up? I thought they weren't supposed to shoot at us. Thank you for that, sir. Think it might have crashed. So that is our first crash so far in this game. I mean, I think it's crashed. Yeah. I mean, it's not doing anything. So let's quit it and then restart it. First crash we've seen so far. I mean, it's going to happen, right? That stinks though. I don't know. My question is when did it auto save? Now we could probably change to where the turrets are act when the turrets are active. But that was intense. Now, you know, we can talk about it a little bit in the meantime here. Uh, but let's just continue at the next auto save. So it auto it auto saved at nine minutes ago. So we'll have to redo a little bit of it. But now we know. 
exact we don't have to run in a little bit a little bit scared <laughs> so maybe we'd be careful when we push that button i'm actually very surprised our first crash was after 12 hours i played like probably every bethesda game studios game at launch and i always crash tons so it's awesome that it took this long to get a crash and these videos so i when i hit the record button and then once i finish i just put them straight up on youtube so that you all can get them so that's what that's why you're still seeing this and i don't and i'm not cutting it out but it gives us time to talk about it but here we go This isn't what I expected at all. It appears the floor is... Is this lock gonna be the same though? It's not. Huh. So apparently we picked the wrong one first. And, uh... Okay, so now let's update for info settings, recalibrate. Okay, so now they're protecting me. Be sure to carefully read the... What happens if we remove combat him? Oh, okay. So anybody. So we won't do that. But we will activate the turrets to not attack me. I think that they was... They were using as decor has overgrown the entire embassy. Turrets are helping us now, which is nice. Dude, those turrets still shoot at you. So let's uh, save it right here, right? Let's hit the computer first. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on a limb and say that there's probably no shot I get this one right.
Yeah, I don't think we got this one. <laughs> I mean, that's the only one we have, but like, we don't have a solo one. So like... Take what we can. The background noise is very, very strange here. A little creepy. I have so many robots here. Getting like energy weapons here. You got it, sir. Better heal up, we're getting close. <laughs> Did I just accidentally do another advanced one? I still don't think there's a shot we get this. I mean, like, I get it, but I, I, I also don't. start okay so this one doesn't work oh it does work there oh wait that's it we did it I haven't seen a lock pick that easily since I traveled with Vladimir Saul that sounds like a compliment. You better have more than just food in here. Ooh, security computer. Another advanced... Oh wait, that's where we were supposed to go. Oh. Just in case. I'm gonna save it again. I'm kind of nervous of hitting that button, right? now
So are we saving this guy? Is that what's happening right now? It seems that way. This has been a really cool mission. Oh. Model S. That sounds bad. Not afraid of anything. Didn't stock up on junk. Why does she get so mad when I pick up stuff? Oh, put our gun away. Save it again, just in case it crashes. I'm paranoid now. So. What seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? The spaceport is in a rough shape, but not much else was damaged. <sighs> is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but... Coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Ah, an archive code. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, that, he's pretty good. going to ensure something like this never happens again and we need your code to do it. I'm going to do correct. We're going to use the data in the archives to better understand and stop these attacks. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. You have my word, I will make sure it's used for good. As the chair of Constellation, I take personal responsibility in vouching for this man's integrity. 
He'll keep his word. Thank you, sir. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. And there. Let it be used for good. Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. <laughs> she is not wrong. I do need to sell a lot. Will we all be so lucky next time the archives need to be accessed? Something to think on. So why did the rest of the embassy staff leave? Where did they go? The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. Why'd you stay behind? House Varun committed itself to the armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the Great Serpent, and I do not believe the Serpent decides such things on a whim. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. What's it been like being from House Varun in New Lantis? It was tolerable, even pleasant, when my brethren were here in the embassy with me. We remade this place as best we could into a home we all would recognize. Our native flora, our iconography, our connection to the serpent, they came with us. With my brethren gone, it has been trying. But the great serpent has always provided me a path in my darkest moments. Great Serpent. That's your god, the right? The Great Serpent is so much more than a god. It is fate itself. When our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies 140 years ago for distant stars, it was the Serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The Serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. Okay, so we got the code, we did everything we needed to do, but is there loot in here? Oh, we, we probably don't want to steal from them. Is this considered stealing? No, it's not. 3,650 credits, that's what I'm talking about. Master key. Would you happen to have a master key? <laughs> master. If I was a master key, where would I be? I mean, he would have it, right? Can you? I think you can pickpocket. I haven't seen like a an ability like check to see if maybe he has the key he might be in there oh there it is I hope he doesn't mind <laughs> they never mind right We can try this lock, but we can't. Too difficult. Nothing in here. Do we have to walk all the way back up? I think so.
really cool environment though. A spooky environment, but very cool. So we did it. So now we go to the archives. Our stamina is draining so fast. We've got to sell a lot of stuff. we lose it so fast so we've got to find is this a shop it's a bank can you imagine how many credits flow through this place figuratively of course i'm a morning person just a regular ball of sunshine yeah, listen I, I have a lot on my plate right now and you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day now, who exactly are you just a starship captain seeing what New Atlantis has to offer. Really? Huh. You have your own ship? Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kiss me, really. I have a business proposition for you that could uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. <laughs> is it legal? You're a law and order type? <laughs> well, this is perfect. This job is literally serving justice. Gal Bank is the agreed party, and if you help me, you help all of us. But if you help a bank, you're gonna get a lot of money. I'm interested. Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, confession time. I might just be a little desperate. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. What I need is a ringer, someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is you. You work with me, and the fee you get will be huge. Okay. What's so difficult with debt collection? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, and I'm guessing you have, the settled systems is big. Like, really big. Someone gets seriously underwater, they skip the system. And it's a real pain to track them down. Sad truth is, we can't track everyone down, so credit analysis always has a black eye when reporting to the higher-ups. How many credits are we talking about? Well, I can tell you're eager. That's good. But we'll start small and work our way up to the worst offenders. Tell me about the mark, then. Yes! <laughs> so, we got a galaxy-class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. And Dieter Maliki jumps system. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, the job is simple. Get Dieter to pay. When we don't want him dead, we don't want him hurt. Just close his account like an honest citizen. What happens if he dies? If he dies, then his assets go to probate, and we can get paid. So if he forces you into an it's you or him situation, it's A-OK -okay for Galbank's bottom line if you choose him. But I cannot stress this enough. This is not the ideal outcome. We wanted him liquidated, and we'd have put a tracker on him. How do I get him to pay? Well, you may need to lean on him. Scare him. Nothing illegal. Just talk to him. And don't listen to any sob stories he tells you. Any job I give you, I guarantee there's not some poor sick aunt that needs credits for surgery. These are scofflaws. Scum. Flagrantly violating the terms of their gal bank agreements. Let's collect some debt. I'll send over all the details. Do you find Dieter and bring his account current? Decided to take a break from exploring to collect some debts. Hmm. Not exactly a constellation-worthy pastime, but I'll follow your lead. I hate to end on this note, but, you know, not everyone's a straight arrow. If you cut a deal with Dieter, honestly, I have no way of knowing. But don't expect any more jobs from me. Best of luck. I believe in you. I mean, we don't have to do it. 
I just came in here to sell With stuff. Bank, your money is... I do hope you're taking advantage of our remote transaction benefits. News Network. Is this a store? Already stowed. Fuel. I missed our Bobby so much. I'm listening. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you know, she's never said that before, has she? So how much stuff does she have? She has 94 of 135. We have 183. Well, that's quite a bit. Oh, we don't even need this. We can sell it, though. It has great value. We've got to get to a shop. Goodbye. Challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills. Reugen is hiring the best and brightest of today for our uh, future. We don't need a job. We've got plenty of jobs. Actually know if there's any shops around this part I think we'd have to take the train to the main district any luck tracking down those sensors where that train is. Isn't it over here somewhere? No? <laughs> oh. We have a lot of stuff and I'd hate to just drop it all here. But I don't think we can fast travel. Yep. We cannot. The map is not very detailed in you knowing, like, where to go. <laughs> Wait, is that a shop? These might be shops. So we're gaining CO2 because we're using too much. Oh, we're supposed to talk to Sarah? Go. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. You've never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Oh yes, absolutely. I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. 
different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Being paired with the boss must have been quite an honor. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. So I've noticed. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Sounds like you two were in love. Well, I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. I'll do the best I can to make our journeys just as pleasant. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> that's what intrigues me about you. Blur, like to discover more about what we have right here. You, yeah, we, we, we have to. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please give me some time. I I, I, I have to go. Well, that, that, <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that was not what I was, well. My boss, what they're doing to stop the new alien attacks on Bruce the city. Struck out on he said that top one. Mines were on it. Wow. I sure, hope they know what they're doing. Well, sorry, Can sir. Bruce struck out on that one smooth. Bye Bruce. for now. <laughs> move, move. I thought it was the moment. I'm not feeling that bad. It seemed like such a good we conversation, you know. The doctor. That's it. I. Maybe some other time. Like such perfect timing. Perfect. Swing and a miss. Well, finally a shop. Please let me know. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. Let's see what you got. You'll find that I have most everything on offer. Well, all I want to do is sell. Wait, I can only sell. I can only sell clothes. Oh. Hey, what clothes do you have? I'm sure you'll be satisfied. Looks actually pretty cool. What is it? Festive Neo City Poncho. I mean, I'm not spending this money on these. No shot. Uh, I'm gonna say no on mostly all of those. Let's find you something. Oh, that was all. Okay. Your patronage is appreciated. I wish I could have sold stuff to you. Why is there a load screen there? That's so weird. It's literally like... <laughs> What? <laughs> C 
CJ's open 49 hours. What? Restaurant. Thanks for stopping by. CJ's is always open. Yeah, sure thing. I can sell a lot of stuff. I can sell food. We haven't ate food yet. So part of me just wants to sell it all. Is that crazy? Or at least save the heavy save sell the heavy stuff. I don't know. Thanks for stopping in. I can well, always use the business. I want those stores that sold everything. I want to get back on the mission, but we're so heavy right now. And we can't fast travel. If you ask me, it's always a good time. Arsenal. We got a weapon store. Oh. Ah, uh, I have mixed feelings about it. But sales are up significantly since what happened at the spaceport. People want to feel safe. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Okay. Please, take a look. What can we sell? The weapons? We just got the exterminator coachman. Is, th is that better than our shotgun? Probably not. No, here's ours. We can sell that one. Sell that one. So you probably get more money selling it to the actual... That, that one's... Modified Eom Equinox. Isn't that the one that... That's the one that... Not non-lethal, right? Nova Blast Disruption is one we just found at that one place, and then Nova Light Pistol. We can't sell that pistol even though it's worth a lot of money. Any ammo we don't need. Oh, ammo doesn't take up space. I'm ne that's awesome, actually. I do not like that these stores require a load screen. Like, they should not. And not this long of a load screen. You're literally just going to... I understand the city's massive, right? But... Everything good? We're here to help. That's just weird. Oh, that movie was epic. Definitely better than the last in this episode. So there's a lot of shops here. Here's Chunks that we've seen, we read the few books on, right? Welcome to Chunks. Thanks for choosing Chunks. I'm happy to serve you. <laughs> he seems so excited. There's a lot of towers here. Are we still overweight? Oh, here's the bus. So I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna go to the commercial district. 
think Sarah didn't get on the train. This is new. Isn't this where we just were? But this isn't where I want to go. Well. Spaceport, I think, is where we want to go, right? Because this should take us, honestly, right where we were as well, right? Yeah. There's got to be spaceport. So easy to get sidetracked in this game. I wish there was different places you can sell stuff at. I know there's that kiosk right by the ship, right? Where you can sell every type of thing. But I think the store you can sell everything. I think. Selling art is a bit of an art itself, you know. Oh, I forgot about oh, that please, art guy. Take a look. You're supposed to. We're supposed to do something for him. Let's look at all the stuff we have and sort it by weight. Okay, we can sell the constellation spacesuit. Well, do you think they'll get upset? I don't think there's like a transmog in this game. I don't see a reason to sell it besides, I don't know. I'll, I'll sell the calibrated deep mining first. Like we don't really need this anymore. We picked up a lot there. We could go take this stuff to the ship. Some of the stuff. I feel like we're going to loot so much stuff later. It's probably okay to sell. I may regret all this. I really do pick up everything, don't I? <laughs> we definitely sell up sell books. We have so many food items. We gotta start eating food. We have so many. Thanks for coming in. You look like someone. Hey, we're good. game right I love that about it like there's I feel like we've just scratched the surface of everything in this game right like that that's crazy to think about and we've done a lot but there is so much to experience yeah. here in Starfield I, 
Dara, I... You've got something for me? Well... Okay. It's feel, feel kind of bad you shot me down earlier, for being honest. <laughs> Just... I thought it was the right time, you know? You're sharing a pass with me a little bit. I don't think it was a stretch. I don't know. Wait, what? Am I supposed to be under the, underneath there? That's what I thought. Yes? You needed something? Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic. Captain, you're back sooner than... Oh, oh, wait. Did... Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? We're all in agreement. Yes. Yeah. Boat pieces from House of Arum and Freestar collecting are ready to be deployed. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? I st there still seems like something's up here. Like, I don't know, I just don't trust it yet. What can I help you with? Maybe another time. Just wanted to see if she had any commentary on it. You notice our characters never really change clothes, right? My, my character hasn't showered either in like 20 days. <laughs> Neither has Sarah either. Sarah hasn't changed clothes either. I do hope there's some type of companion, like, customization of some sort. Doesn't seem like there is, like, leveling up a companion, so I feel like it's all automatic. Just played Baldur's Gate 3 before this, and Baldur's Gate 3 goes down as my favorite game of all time. It was an incredible game. Like, it really did take the top of my l game list. And I loved being able to, like, upgrade your companions and control their gear and stuff. But I don't... It doesn't seem to have that in this game, but... We're still probably 150 hours from completing it as well. Let's save it. Just in case. We've been expecting you. Please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. I guess what I'm confused about though is, aren't, isn't that girl supposed to be here with us? Right? I guess not. I don't know what I'm looking for. Eighteen. 
I wonder if there's anything else you can grab in there. Like stealthy? I doubt it. I'm sure people have tried though. Where am I supposed to go now? Return the data. Okay. How am I supposed to, to take a lower route? I don't know where that lower route is. Bruce here needs to improve his fitness. Keeping the skies safe out there. Wait, that's the same floor, right? Oh. Hello. There you are. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Something still seems up. I'm going to save it just in case again. Paranoid now. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. I made someone a promise, Hadrian. Can you assure this data will be used for good? I... Yes, it will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This, this is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Yes! Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. That means we could buy a house, not that we have the money for it. But I think we get a big bonus. That's what I want right now. I'm gonna buy a new ship. Daddy? Sell our old ship? Excuse me. Buy a new one? We did it. Evening, sir. Good evening. Bruce is about to get his UC New Atlantis citizenship. About to be official. Wait, is this where we do it? Whoa. Okay, we've got to take a picture. Monumental day. Never forget our citizenship. Captain, are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? I'm ready. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, 
bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? I will. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a... sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Well, I mean, I guess that depends on what you want. Ask for it by name? Who are you talking about? I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? I'll take it to my grave. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Wow, we just got 5... 5,000 plus 7,800... credits. I believe we can buy a new ship now. And now we're getting, giving on like a top secret mission. But look at... It's easy to forget that we are on a, like, you can explore this planet too, right? It's easy to forget that, like, you see this big city, right? But, like, also, you can explore this whole planet. I, I forget that. Hey. Bye-bye. That's a great view, though. I'm gonna try one time jumping off there from the top. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never turn into one of those spacers. We're not a spacer. Subsection 7. Is this like the secret special forces? Are we gonna become a spy or something? lived in New Atlantis almost my entire life, and I had no idea this place even existed. The UC certainly excels at keeping secrets. I'd say. Logging authorized entry. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. But there are no additional visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. I wonder who this is. I wonder if it's somebody we know or they're gonna introduce a new character. Welcome, Captain. Huh? Please. Come down Wait, Is this a prison? You and I should chat. Wait. President Abeyo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? No, I mean... He, no. Is he the... He's not the... The old... One of the old leaders. I guess he could have been one of the old leaders. You look sort of familiar. Nope, can't say I do. I mean, I don't know. I'm Francois Fanon. But most know me as Vavictus. What? I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was 
to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. How do we keep this from Hadrian? Do you see fate your death then? One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity, but my execution staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. I do not want to work with this guy. So what did you do? To warrant my execution. The official charges I faced after the war were twofold. The first was the destruction of civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne. A battle during which those civilian ships were actively attacking my fleet. The other was ordering the bombing of the Londinian spaceport to halt the spread of the Terramorph outbreak there. The city and its citizens were lost, but countless others likely saved. And for doing what was right, I was put on trial. And my life irrevocably changed. Sanin, that's Hadrian's last name? Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? He told me she's your clone, yes. Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Adrian and I are doing just fine on our own. I'd ask you at least hear me out. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are, but in exchange, I need something dealt with. You track down war criminals, people like you? How's that work exactly? <laughs> well, who better to find them? But many of them I knew personally, and I've always had a mind for details. Where someone was born, next of kin, <laughs> you'd be shocked how often an otherwise brilliant criminal flees to the planet just next to the one where they were born, or where a family member resides. I simply use my own personal knowledge and the information our group collects for me to track them down and set things right. Not sure I like the sound of this. One task. That's all I require. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies more... 
problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Yeah, I'm not working for this guy. Why had me do this? Why not hand this over to one of the members of this recovery team? Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. It is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. And this might be something of a tryout. And be on your team. I need to think about this. I don't like it. Is that the only option you got? Yeah. You have to accept it to go keep going down that. Hmm. Oh, we can't even talk Bye. to Hmm. It's tough. Like, do we just go ahead and accept it and just not do it, you know? Get up to uh, the companion, right? Yeah, we're definitely talking to McIntyre after that. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. There's an executed war criminal in your basement. Captain, please, keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Can't keep me from telling Hadrian. Short of jailing you? No, you're right. But in this moment, I think it would be a big mistake to tell her. Though I presume he didn't call you down there simply to discuss his daughter. The prisoner asked me to deal with Dr. Relays. Figured you and I should discuss. Wait, is that the... That name sounds so familiar. Dr. Reginald Relays? He's finally found him. 
Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Location of Hadrian's old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Uh, what are the chances of being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. I'm supposed to head to the den. Anything you can tell me about it? The den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Didn't have anything else to discuss? Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. I think I'm done with this side quest for now, for a while. Definitely don't want to work with that guy, so... supposed to speak with with captain marquez uh oh so all the way there yeah we did get a skill point though carry more where that would be physical yeah that's what we need Buy a new ship, maybe. We might have enough. You can also build your own ship from the ground up, like just seeing that shipbuilder in a few episodes ago. Maybe that was last episode. fun side mission. Like, all those side missions were a lot of fun. So hey, much fun. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, no problem. That's not what I was doing. I'm sure you can find something you like. How much money do I have? 81,000. That one's 54,000. That's worse than my ship. This can have four crew. 126,000. Bonder can have three crew.
But this ship is not very, not much better than the one I have, honestly. Now that's a good ship. It doesn't have a lot of crew capacity. I want one with the big crew capacity. Five. Here we go. Two hundred sixty-five thousand four hundred and forty-three dollars. To get five crew. That's the ship I want right there. Yep, that's the one. That or uh, this one. I don't know though. No, this one. I think it'd be a cool ship inside of it. Like if you're gonna spin this one, you might as well double the money and get. Shield breaker, two hundred and sixty-five thousand. That's gonna be a beast. How much is our our ship is worth one hundred and seventy-one credits? No, seven thousand three hundred and seventy-five credits. What if we just okay, no extend problem. it? I wonder if we could just extend it. Okay, so that's up. Oh, I, that so that was the upgrade button, right? Oh, so you can really... Okay. But this is what we want. We don't have to buy a new ship. We can just upgrade the ship we have now. But we already have a good... It doesn't look like we can get another engine. We can get better weapons, though, it looks like. These are missile missile launchers. That's only 938. Oh, that's the Vanguard one we got. We definitely that's why it's cheap. We definitely want that. And cannon. Did we get a Vanguard cannon too? It's an auto projector. Is an auto cannon, but the auto cannon would improve that, but I don't really need an auto cannon. I wish there was like a description of that's twelve thousand. Yeah, I'm not paying that. So you can't we can improve the grab drive. I don't really think we need that right now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna accept that. We we didn't really change much. We did change the missile. Now what we can do is probably extend it. Like if we take this and pull this out. And then, what if we add another bay? I'm 
not a landing bay. We want like a cargo bay or like a... No, not cargo. Maybe it's just structural. Hole? Yeah, that's what we want, right? It caught a hole? I guess I could look. What is this? That's what we want. That. Is there a duplicate button? No. Three errors. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. It's a hole. Okay. This is so cool, though. That you can literally just build your ship from the ground up. Wait, what? I don't want that. Whoops. I want this same one, though. It's a Nova hole, right? I wish we could just duplicate the one we have. Do we even have another one? I'm not sure if there's another one on this. So I think we'll have to attach a different type of hole to it. I mean, if it doesn't look good, we can always not do it. I just want to... Okay, so that... <laughs> something's not... That must, this must not be what I think it is, right? But that, if that's a hole, right? Nova Galactic Habitat Modules. So that's what I, that's it. That's what I need. Oh, this. So this is all in one. I think that's the one that's on there. Yep. Living quarters. Workshop. Captain's quarters. Captain quarters sounds cool. <laughs> I think it I think we need Galactic Control Station. Galactic Armory. We want the one that increase yeah, so galactic probably the galactic control station. An engineering bay. But I definitely want the one that increases the size. way it doesn't increase another so a companion way so we want to do one that actually increases crew size right so like this for now until we get another ship right warning Oh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look great. Reduce mass for add engines to improve mobility. Oh, okay. Where could we add engines on the front, right? It might not be the prettiest ship. <sighs> Let's just, what are the ones we have here? White Dwarf 2000 engine. We just need like 1,000s here on the front. Yep, 
This is so awesome, though. Like, it really is. Error. We need... So now we need more grav? <laughs> okay, where's the grav system? There it is, grab drive. So we need to upgrade this. Let's figure out. We just do two of them? Okay, we can. It's gonna look ugly. I don't care how pretty it looks. Oh, only one grab drive is allowed. Oh. Okay, well. So what we need is to figure out, I don't, do we even have a grab drive that can handle it? Guess we'll get the one that has grab jump thrust 20, right? Class A. Wait, did we do it? Oh, we got it. Our first chip upgrade. I mean, it, it may not look the prettiest. <laughs> I kind of think that this needs to move. That's not going to work, is it? That would look better. For like the weapon systems? I don't think that would work. Can the weapon systems move? No. Probably not. What is this? So it's a structural component. So we just we could just add another one of these like here for looks. We want it to look kinda cool. Or really cool. There we go. So we just want a structural like that looks cool. We have all Nova in here, so let's get Nova. Yeah, like that. I think that looks good. <laughs> How cool is this though? Like, this is really cool. Maybe a weapon mount? Oh, it doesn't work. I guess I just don't understand what else we can put there to make it look better. Oh, we'll cancel. We're back. Ooh, I'd have been really sad if we messed all that up, you know? This is really cool, though. It's fun to do this here at the end of this video, just... To show... What you can build like this is a full ship creator just 
want something that's going to make this top look like it's... I mean, I'll put other weapons on there if I can. Radiator, maybe? I guess we, what if we just put this, like... No. Oh, that's the port. Okay, we already have one right there. But that's a docker. That's, this just cosmetic. Maybe we just put another weapon on there, like a, um... Maybe we put like the auto cannon on there. Oh, maybe you can't. Can you only have three weapon systems probably at once? I don't know. I guess it doesn't look too goofy, but. It kind of looks unfinished the way it is. Well, I wonder if I could just move. Yeah, and then all we need is a connecting piece in the... Ah, oh, okay. I think we've got it. Now all we need is like a connecting piece. Need like a full on connecting. I feel like we saw some of these earlier. So we could put a cargo hold up there we're gonna be so slow though if we <laughs> we keep adding this stuff our ship is gonna be so slow not gonna not gonna connect anywhere is it Oh, so this has to go like on the edge. Okay. This is fun. This is really cool though. Like to just go around and do this. I don't think we're going to find the piece that I'm looking for. I mean, I guess it's this. And then one more. Why doesn't that fit? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that adds some nice kind of looks. That makes it look much more complete. Yep. I like it. We built our first ship. He's a beauty. He is a beauty. He's heavy. <laughs> we'll try it. If we don't like it, well, how much does it cost? 15,000? Which well, cheaper than buying a new ship. So now. Now I think we can assign crew. Whoa. Oh my. 
move. So, yes, that looks good. Yep. It looks really good. Now it got massive, though. Let's probably have them repair our ship, too. Got anything you need to offload? Trader. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Oh, nice. Now, how do you, like, handle your... Is that ship, like, companion? I was thinking, like, crew. There it is. I think we can put them all on there now. Yep, and we could hire somebody else as well. Let's see what it all looks like inside adding that control room. Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. I think, Keeping what would like you do in my shoes? Yeah, Not literally, though. No. I've you got know, small I feet. I just had to put them back. That you allow Mateo look after her. Perhaps even have him continue Cora's education. <sighs> Being out there with me is a better Which education than great. any book. Haven't you ever considered how she feels about all this? We both want the same thing, Sam. We want her to remain safe. The only way I can be sure Cora's gonna be safe is if she stays with me. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm not changing my mind. I missed that conversation. It sounds like it could have been an important one. Did you all catch that? I think that's a good place to end it. Got a new ship. Why is the adoring fan up here? We want the other guy up here. What a fun episode. We have an, an upgraded ship. Hopefully we'll take her take her up into space next time and see how she does. But thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more. And I have a playlist on the channel page you can check out to see if other videos are live in this series. And if I end up posting the whole series, it depends on if you are, are liking it or not. Uh, but... I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.